6 News. I bring a story here on Fox 6 News at 9, a State Fair flashback. Remember last year opening day, the Sky Glider at the State Fair got stuck? Dozens of people were stranded. Well, today, more trouble with the fair favorite. Last year, the engine pooped out. This time, it was a wobbly wheel. Our Henry Ross off live at fairgrounds tonight, Henry. And the glider is running this evening, as you can see over my right-hand shoulder, and the fairgrounds, they're buzzing on day one. I've seen some guys working on the tower. High above the music, a similar looking scene unfolds on the first day of the 2011 Wisconsin State Fair. It kind of surprised us that they were still doing stuff on it. Maintenance men work to replace a broken cable wheel on the sky glider. Black debris falls to the ground below where onlookers react and remember. It's interesting that they're doing repairs again on it. In 2010, a broken motor left dozens hanging for hours on day one. Yeah, I heard about it last year. A fair spokeswoman says no one is stuck this time, and repairs are soon complete with the glider giving rides again by late afternoon. The other sizzling hot topic of conversation surrounds the fried butter, a new food this year. It's good, it's good. It's, I don't, it's, it tastes like butter and just deep fried. I don't know it's how it is. But future fair goers be warned. <laughs> Proceed with caution. The first big buttery bite can really bite back. It's so greasy. <laughs> Many others enjoy a more traditional dairy state experience. Raw milk gouda. Balsamic bellavitano. Lacy Swiss. Plain string cheese. We have uh, cheese and butter makers from all across the uh, state of Wisconsin. Day one features a sampling of award-winning blue ribbon cheeses. That's fantastic. It really validates the hard work that all of our cheese makers uh, do every day. Keeping cool, kept the uh, cooling stations a little bit busier early in their day, but as the humidity uh, began lowering and the temperature dropped as well, that became less of a story. And it's actually very pleasant out here this evening on this first day at State Fair. Live from the fairgrounds, Henry Rossoff, Fox 6 News. Thank you for the ramp up, Henry. Typically, the official kickoff to the State Fair is, well, kind of boring. Yeah. Not so today. Yeah, at this morning's ceremony, they were shouting and chanting the target Governor Scott Walker, our Myra Sanchez tells you why. Thousands came to the fair on opening day. Hundreds were on hand for opening day festivities. But when Governor Scott Walker walked on stage, many shouted at the governor. We had signs of support and applause. But when Governor Walker gave his opening day speech at the fair, not everyone was listening. This is the one place all across Wisconsin where people can actually come together. Or at least most people can. And that's what we're going to do this week. We wanted to, uh, you know, just show them that not everybody is on his side, you know, and, and we'll come and see you in another year, year and a half, if uh, the whole general public is on his side. Well, the economy is bad, so something has to change. You can't just stick your head in the ground and say, um, you know, <laughs> not me. 800,000 people are going to be here this week, hopefully even more than that. A uh, handful of people aren't going to distract the majority of people from around the state. And from around the Midwest, we're going to come and have a fun time. While some came to the fair to have a little food on a stick, the governor did stick to what he came to do. On behalf of the entire state of Wisconsin, we now officially declare the 2011 Wisconsin State Fair open for business. Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. And the weather, as Henry Rossoff was saying, very comfortable this evening. Let's go live to one of our Smart Weather Net sites, which is pretty close to State Fair Park, just north of there by about three quarters of a mile. St. Vincent Pilati Elementary School on 76th Street, uh, north of I-94 by Pius High School. 73 degrees for you right now. So that location is very indicative of what's going on at, at State Fair Park. The dew point, though, is at 65, so a little sticky. Uh, winds are calm. Uh, the feels like or heat index at 77, but overall a very beautiful evening outside. Interesting on our Fox Sky Cam here late this afternoon into the early evening, the high and mid level clouds were precipitating. The rain was falling but evaporating before reaching the ground, but it made for some great sights. In fact, we'll feature a, a photo, a couple of photos uh, coming up at 945 with a spectacular sunset as those. Uh, Falling raindrops were captured by the setting sun. Looks pretty cool. We'll show you that at 945. But right now, it's 72 here at our Brown Deer Studios after a high of 80. What about Friday? Pretty much of a repeat of what we saw today. Very nice weather, a little fog early. Otherwise, a mix of clouds and sun. 83 degrees in West Allis and west of there. 77 right along the lakeshore. 
dew point right around 66 degrees. What about your weekend forecast? We'll talk more about that coming up, but in just a few minutes, we're gonna travel to Mars. I'll see you then. Ooh, okay. See you then, thank you, Vince. New at nine o'clock, a story that just keeps getting more and more disturbing.